In this video, I want to show you all a few different options to get human ward and bane items without having to craft them. Feel free to use the timestamps in the description to find the method that best suits your playstyle. As of now, you can acquire a light helmet and a blunderbuss from the seasonal story questline. Both of these items drop at gear score 615. These quests can be started by visiting Grace O'Malley in the southmost area of Brimstone Sands. The seasonal quests will also reward you with other useful items such as a unique satchel, a gypsum orb, umbral shards, and a few other named weapons. <laughs> Grace O'Malley never gives up. I just changed my mind. Ah, yeah, we're sailing with the same wind. We'd recruit the island's best talent. This camp's not much, but it beats that drafty old care done. And we can expand your Another option of acquiring human ward or bane items is using the Flame Core Forge. This station is located at the entrance of the Empyrean Forge, and from here you can craft unstable casts. These casts will contain some umbral shards and either a weapon or armor piece with human ward or bane. However, the stats will be totally random, and in my opinion, it isn't really worth the gamble. Another reason why I wouldn't choose this option is because flame cores are extremely valuable early on. You will need these to craft the minor, basic, and major bane trophies, as well as using them to upgrade the new heart rune. The last option is simple. Run the new expedition, the Empyrean Forge. The non-mutated version of the expedition actually has quite a few good drops for Human Ward and Bane. I won't cover each one, but listed here are all the items from the non-mutated version of the expedition. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I will answer them as best as I can.